What's up guys, and NYKEA31 here, bring you an OS Vet Season 2 Online League video, and it's going to take you around the league a little bit as we just finished the regular season, the wild card round is underway, I just bring you some news and notes from around the league and the state of NYKEA31's J-E-T-S Jets Jets Jets. As you can see, we finished 13 and 3 in Season 2. Locked up home field advantage throughout the playoffs and a home field um, and a first round bye. Bengals at 12 and 4. Got a bunch of guys at 12 and 4 here. Look at the Cleveland Brownies. And the Chiefs just eked out <clears throat> the division title versus the Raiders. Raiders and Steelers just a couple of games out of the money. And over on the NFC side, you've got the Detroit Lions at 15 and 1. Big time regular season for them. The Redskins, Panthers, Packers, Eagles, the Giants are back in the postseason after a subpar um, season one. Defending Super Bowl champions San Francisco 49ers went through some ownership turmoil. Just beat out the Cowboys and the Bucks. Well, they won the division, so um, they win a division at 10 and 6 to secure the last playoff spot in the NFC League MVP. Is none other than Joe Flacco. Flacco, RG3, Cam I Am, and look at your boy Sanchez. Sanchez finishes at the, in the top five. Rob Ninkovich. Pro Bowl in the AFC. Flacco, Sanchez. That's probably going to end up costing me a lot of money. <laughs> Mr. Whedon. Jerome Felton. Old man Reggie Wayne. Got a couple of rookies in here also. Mike Wallace, Tommy Streeter. Got some young players here making the Pro Bowl. Dustin Keller. Jets well represented on the Pro Bowl squad. This is your defense. David Harris. And I user Will Hill to a Pro Bowl season at free safety. Actually, he plays strong safety for me, and I user controlled him most of the time throughout the season. I occasionally took a break to play on the defensive line every now and then, but I would say 80 to 90% of the time I was usering Will Hill. NFC. Eli, Roger, Stafford, your QBs, McCoy, Gore, Stewart. Brandon Sane from the Ohio State University. Wouldn't have seen that coming. No real shocks here among the wide receivers. Maybe Devin Hester is. Olsen. I have no idea who the hell that is. Vernon Davis. A lot of Eagles again on the offensive line. Here's your defense. A lot of the usual suspects. Tanar Jackson is still kicking around. A Fay. Eh, some surprises here, I guess. Offensive statistics. Total offense. Jets right up there, number three in the league. To the Giants airing it out pretty well up there. Ravens, Browns, Bengals, Eagles, Giants, Bucks, Redskins, Panthers, Niners, Jets. Defense.
I pretty much ignore yardage and focus on points. Lions led the league in fewest points allowed by a pretty wide margin. Just right up there among the top defenses in the league. Right number seventh and fewest points allowed. Generated 43 sacks, not too bad. Picked off 38 passes. Not too shabby. Pretty efficient all the way across the board offensively. And the all important turnover margin. Number three in the league. You want to have a winning record, you want to get to the postseason, you do not turn the ball over. If you're in double digits and turnover margin, your chances of having a very good season are very, very high. Let's take a look at the Jets season stats. Mark Sanchez cracks the 5,000 yard barrier, 37 touchdowns, 101.4 rating. 23 INTs is a little bit high, but it is Mark Sanchez. I'm not a complete miracle worker. <laughs> I can only do so much. Completion percentage is right where you want it to be for an efficient West Coast offense. Good season by Mr. Sanchez. Joe McKnight really shined in this playbook. The rushing yardage is enough. That's really all I really need out of him. He's not exactly a workhorse. He's a dual-purpose back. He had, you know, over 1,500 yards of total offense between rushing and receiving. Between him, my rookie, my fullback, and Bilal Powell, you know, over 1,000 yards rushing, close to 1,100, 1,200 yards rushing as a team. That's that's plenty for this style of play. As I said, running a um, pass-first offense, passing to set up the run. Receiving is where McKnight really did a lot of damage. 61 catches for 887 yards and 7 TDs. So he was my poor man's Marshall Falk, my poor man's Roger Craig. However you want to, you know, frame it. And Guam Bolden. The thing about Bolden is that he gets banged up a lot. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's because he's getting old or just bad luck. But he had 81 catches, over 1,100 yards, 9 TDs. And in 12 games, he basically missed a month of the season. Keller is all reliable. Antonio Holmes did his thing. Big play guy, 16.4 yards per catch. Good reliable fullback to check the ball down to and to throw over the middle short. Dion Branch did fine in the slot receiver role. It's, really, it's all I really needed him for. And plus he... Um, was able to fill in for um, Holmes, and Holmes went down for a couple of games beginning of the season. Even Chaz Shillings contributed pretty nicely. Lineman stats, who cares? Defense, David Harris. 106 tackles, a couple of sacks, five INTs, six forced fumbles. Great season out of David Harris. Ron Landry wasn't the ball hawk that he was in season one, but you know, still doing his thing, still forcing fumbles, still being that enforcer. Will Hill, give me a safety to user that has a good hit power and can catch and can tackle, and I'll make good things happen with him. Nine INTs, six forced fumbles to go with 63 tackles. Foku, my steady weak side linebacker. Just solid. Really like voices Foku. An absolute steal when I saw him released. Mabin, my speed edge rusher. 16 tackles for loss, 13 sacks in about 10 games. Yeah, 10 games. He missed a month and a half of the season, so can't complain with that production. Muhammad Wilkerson stepped up pretty nicely in his place, along with Kobels. This is my rookie. He's an 83 overall. 
Got him in the fourth round. He's actually got a better or higher finesse move than Maven. So he did very well playing in spot duty because he can't play the run very well. He can't block shed. Got to work on that. Got to develop that. And if Maven ever gets too expensive, he can just fit in and give, him that, give me that speed edge rush that I have to have. Sione Pua missed most of the season. It was an all-pro last season. Only played in nine games. Let's look at league leaders. This is a video game, so you're going to get video game stats. <laughs> it's impossible to get realistic stats in an all-user online league because you have, you know, varying skill levels, various styles of play, so... If you bang your head against the wall about stats, you're pretty much wasting your time. It's best to just, you know, play, play the best you can, and enjoy the competition. And you see Joe Flacco's gaudy QB rating, and gaudy yardage, and touchdown to INT rate. Excellent season by Mr. Flacco, 68% completion percentage, 347.9 yards per game. Alex Smith. Rogers, Wiegand, Sanchez, Vic, RG3, Newton. Got a lot of guys with QB ratings over 100 and in the 90s. Yardage. You have four guys over 5,000 and a ton of guys with 4,000 plus. <laughs> Gotta cut down on those turnovers, Big Ben. Touchdown passes. You got four guys with over 40 touchdown passes. You're going to put up passing yards. It's all about avoiding those turnovers. Got to avoid turnovers. Rushing. Despite those gaudy pass numbers, you have more than your fair share of bulldozer rushers. Running game certainly was not ignored. Here's your offensive rookie of the year. Guys doing work on the ground. Six yards per carry for Mr. McCoy. 18 TDs by Trent Richardson. AJ Green. Insane numbers. Insane numbers by the rookie tight end. Victor Cruz, insane numbers. Wayne. Lots of guys with good yardage numbers. I'm a relative piker when it comes to my guys receiving your statistics. I spread the ball around pretty nicely, I think. Cruz with 2,000 yards receiving on 21.9 yards per catch. Wow. Defense. Palumalu. Palumalu leads the league in tackles. Brandon Champagne. Must be a rookie or a first year player. There are Washington plus Lusny. Timmons all with 100 tackles plus. Rob Ninkovich with 49 tackles for a loss and 36 sacks. Freeney 45 and 34. Alden Smith 44 and 27. Sue for a defensive tackle, getting 32 tackles for loss and 23 sacks is insane. That's insane. 36, 34, 27, 23, 21, 17, 15, 14. I thought there was no pass rush in Madden. <laughs> INTs, Beeson with 18, user control, Beast. Shattering Dick Knight train lanes, single season INT record. Akib Talib, Charles Tillman. First or second year player, first year player or a rookie. Chris Culver, Antoine Kaysen, Sean Smith, Will Hill. Reeves is here somewhere. He had like seven. There he is. Cromarty and Reeves had seven apiece. So that is the league. 
news and notes from around the league. Playoff footage coming soon. Talk to y'all later. Peace.